Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, and that means the return of Champions League football, and we are excited for that. We're also excited because there's going to be plenty of market movements with these Champions League Road to the Final cards that I want to talk about with you guys today, because these cards are going to fluctuate like crazy based on who wins and who loses tomorrow, because these cards have a lot of hype in this game, especially with their upgrades, and it's just Champions League football, right? Champions League football brings people onto FIFA, because big football events, the Champions League, people watch that, right? They want to play with those players that they just watched on TV, so they get on FIFA, they power up their console, they power up their PC, whatever you choose to play on. And they go on and they play with some of these players and they just play with teams that, you know, cards from the teams that play in that day. We'll talk about that for a little bit as well. Uh, but these Road to the Final cards are the main thing that I want to talk about today, along with some of the content that we got yesterday uh, with the the uh, ones to watch stuff. So we'll talk about all of these things today. But first of all, we need a quick refresher on a ones, uh, not ones to watch, on Road to the Final. A quick refresher. It's been a while. Since we've had to look at these cards and actually think about them getting updated based on in-game performances uh, by teams that are in Champions League. So, Road to the Final cards, again, uh, this week we're only worried about Road to the Finals because they get upgraded for winning the first knockout game. And what does this mean exactly? Winning the first knockout game means winning the first leg. If they outright win the first leg of this first knockout round. So right here we have the the Jaden the Jaden Sancho um, example. He's already got his 87 rated card for qualifying for the knockout stage. He could go to an 88 uh, in the next few days if they beat PSG. Right? That's a big if. But play along. That's what we're going with. If they beat PSG, he will become an 88 rated card. Uh, we don't have to worry about these yet because they're not going to get upgraded until they actually qualify for the round of 16. So these cards get the upgrade if they win the first knockout game. Uh, and this is the big question that I want to tackle. When are these cards going to get upgraded? Uh, Road to the Final items can take up to a few game, a few days to update in-game. And I want to talk about this because this big time plays into what we're looking for in terms of um, price fluctuations and knowing how these cards are going to be traded tomorrow on this game. So let's just set an example out, right? This is our example. Tomorrow. PSG and uh, Dortmund are playing. Actually, that's today, not tomorrow. They're playing today. Marquinhos is 350,000 coins. I would not expect him to go up too much pregame. I would expect the price to stay within at least 10 to 20K of that price right there. Just kind of a normal fluctuation. Anywhere between 330 and 360, 370 pregame, right? What happens in the game? Well, let's talk this through. Let's say uh, PSG score first. Every time a goal is scored, people start panicking and people start buying on this market because they're buying into the potential upgrade or they're selling into the the fear that that card is going to lose, that team is going to lose and will not get upgraded. So if PSG score first tomorrow, you're going to see this card go up. Crazily enough, he's already incredibly expensive in my opinion for the kind of card that you get there. And you're also going to see the Jaden Sancho card go down because exactly right, it's the same game. If Dortmund don't have a chance to win, it's all about the upgrade. People are worried about the upgrade for their card in the game. If they do not have a chance to win, they will panic sell the card, right? So, like, let's say uh, Jaden Sancho, who is 170k right now. Uh, people are buying up this card, by the way, because they think that uh, Dortmund are going to be able to do it today. Sancho right now is 175, right? 175k for this card. This would be a card that I would be very interested in looking at if PSG end up beating Dortmund today because it's going to be a panic sell, right? And we have a perfect example, a perfect example of what happened last year in this scenario that we're talking about, right? Last year with Manchester United and PSG, look at what happens here. Lingard rises up into the hype of that game versus PSG. He's 244,000 coins at some point during that game. I think Man United in the first leg may have scored first or had a lead at some point and Lingard's card was way, way hyped up. That was the optimal time to sell because PSG ended up winning that first game and Lingard's card, since it wasn't getting upgraded, got panic sold all the way down to 123,000 coins. A big time panic sell for this road to the final card. And then of course we have to wait, what, like a week or two, two weeks until they play the second leg of that game. And look what happens then. Manchester United and Jesse Lingard actually pull out the upset. They pull out the game and they win the game. And look what happens. He goes back to 222 
thousand coins at the game. So this is what I want to tell you: the optimal time to buy, the optimal time to sell these cards if they are inflated is always during the game. Always, always, always during the game. Let's say tomorrow, um, Sancho and Dortmund. Right? We're looking at Sancho. Let's say Sancho and Dortmund. This is uh, Road to the Final Set Two. Sancho and Dortmund score. They go ahead 1-0. What's going to happen to Sancho's price? He's going to go over 200,000 coins in a flash. Just like that, he's going to probably go up 50, 60,000 coins. You're going to see his price start to trickle down, but it's going to stay high in the game because they're ahead and people are buying up that card because they think it's going to get upgraded. What's going to happen to Marquinhos? Marquinhos is going to drop probably 40, 50,000 coins, maybe even more because that card isn't even worth that much to begin with. In my opinion, 350k for a Marquinhos. You know what you can get? Diego Carlos is just as good a card as this, in my opinion, and he was like a 30k SBC. Anyways, pr plenty of Brazilian center backs in this game now um, to, to use instead of Marquinhos. But let's say Dortmund again score first. You're going to see this card get panic sold, especially if the game ends in a loss. The panic selling will then ensue after that game. You will see this card hit a low point, kind of what that Jesse Lingard graph did, right? It kind of hit a low point, and then it went back up for the next game. Uh, of course, if you think PSG has a chance, and if it's a close game, right? That's part of the reason why the Lingard card had a chance last year. And I actually bought Lingard between that in that time frame where he went from really high 240 down to 120, back up to 220. I bought him for around 120k, and I sold him at like 200 something. Um, because I thought, you know, Manchester United, it was like the, the aggregate score was really close. And that's one thing to keep in mind with these is there's a possibility for a comeback with these cards. So watch for the panic selling today. These cards are so freaking rare in the game, right? These cards are so freaking rare in the game that you're going to be surprised uh, when they go, they go up, they're going to go up quick, right? But you're also going to be surprised with the panic selling on the downward trend. If they are losing, if they do lose the game and the card's not going to get upgraded, you'll be surprised with how much panic selling there is. There's a lot of cards that people will just sell because they're like, shoot, he's not getting upgraded or whatever. So just watch that kind of stuff, man. You know, some of these cards are probably gonna move a little bit into the games tomorrow. Uh, I just think a lot of these are inflated already, but these cards are gonna fluctuate a lot more tomorrow with the games actually going on and with the upgrades for these cards on the line. That's another thing to think about. Uh, these cards are going to get upgraded if they win an outright win that first uh, game that they play, either today, on Tuesday, or Wednesday, tomorrow. But when are they going to get upgraded? And I actually had to go back and do a little bit of research on this because I was not sure. Last year, when did these cards get upgraded? Well, the cards that win today and tomorrow, right? So let's say Tottenham win, my boys. Let's say they bring home the dub. Sun goes to a 90 rated card. When is he going to get that upgrade? He's not going to get that upgrade until all of the round one, all of the leg one games in the round of 16 are played. So these road to the final cards are not going to get updated for another like 10 days. Literally, probably the 27th or the 28th of February is when these cards will get upgraded. That's what happened last year because they wait for all the cards to get their games played, right? They wait for all of these games to happen. And the first round winners, they give them the upgrade then. So that's, we're gonna have to wait a long time on these cards. And that's why I'm saying, if you're gonna be trading with these cards, keep that in mind. And that's something we're gonna be talking about probably in a, in a video soon after this, after some of the games are played, there's a little bit of time in between when they're actually gonna get that upgrade. So last year, for the cards that were going to get upgraded, we actually saw a bit of a sell-off post-game and then uh, between when they got the upgrade for their first leg game, for when the game finished, they won. Nacho Fernandez last year was a great example. Let's see if I can if I can look him up or pull his card up from last year. Because I bought a bunch of this guy last year. Here he is, Nacho Fernandez, the 87 rated center back. So Real Madrid won, yeah? Real Madrid run, won right here. He went from 100, like 30, 140,000 coins. He was going to get the upgrade. The upgrade didn't come right away. He goes from 230 all the way back down. He was actually about 140 in this time frame, I bought a bunch of Nacho Fernandez's about 130, 140,000 coins because he just got panic sold after he didn't get the upgrade. And even when the upgrade actually happened, he got panic sold again. And then I held on to him and I sold him up here around 170, 180 before the next game uh, was played out. I just held like 25 of them on my transfer list for like two weeks, I think, before he evidently, then he eventually crashed on a 40K when Real Madrid lost. But 
This is the type of stuff you're going to see with these cards. Last year, of course, it was a very hype. It was a very new promo. This year, we kind of know what to expect. Do I think it's going to operate the same way? I do. I think these cards are going to fluctuate a ton in game. Every time there's a goal scored, you're going to see these cards moving. That's one risky but very profitable way to trade in this game. These cards, again, they're very rare on this market, especially a guy like Sancho, who is very affordable to a lot of people, fits in a lot of squads, of course, with Halan playing very well. This card, I think if they win, this card might reach a high point of like 250,000 coins, honestly, in that crazy high spike in price if they do end up winning against PSG. So that's something to think about. These Road of the Final cards are going to move a lot, but again, just keep in mind that that upgrade's not going to be coming until next week literally next week's friday so like a week and three four days away from away from now is when we'll finally see those upgrades so that's enough talk about road to the finals let's talk about ones to watch because these cards are also uh in in the spotlight right now ones to watch is they added this to the code last night ones to watch tradable and ones to watch untradable upgrade sbcs very similar to the ones that we had last year the current team of ones to watches that you can pack in this SBC, obviously, these cards have died today because they are now available, again, tradable on the market. And this happened last year with a lot of these cards as well. Look at DeYoung, man. Look at DeYoung. He's been like 200,000 coins all year, got a couple informs, spiked up last week because of getting another inform, and now he's just tanking, right? 113,000 coins. Look at this graph from today. He was 170, 180 this morning. Bang down to 115 or something, and down to like 110, right? These cards are going to take a little bit of time to rise back up, okay? I am I looked at some examples from last year, from last year's ones to watch team, because I was curious myself, did these cards ever rebound from this? And the answer is they did. So Zhao Cancelo got an inform right before the ones to watch promo last year. You can tell he was 300,000 coins. He gets dropped off a cliff because of the OTW promo down eventually all the way to 200,000 coins, and he kind of just maintains that level. Um, he doesn't really move too much, man. He has a good game here. He goes to 230, right? Come Some spikes here and there. And then, of course, it's like team of the season time, and he just drops. But uh, some of these cards did rebound a little bit. Raja 9 Golan was one of them who did. But this is kind of the time of the year where the one swatch cards just get a lot of supply on the market from this SBC, and they kind of just go, they just kind of, you know, take an L. That's kind of where these cards go. Check out 9 Golan, man. 249,000 coins. Actually, it's before this. Yeah, 249k drops all the way down to 168 and just cannot get back up on the rebound. So with these with these ones to watch cards, yes, we have some very overpowered ones this year with Ben Yedder. Um, I'm assuming this Ben Yedder card's 400,000 coins. 470, 480. He was 680. He was 200,000 coins more than this earlier this weekend. Insane. But this is causing panic selling on all fronts of this card, right? Because you're when you lower that ceiling price and you squash it down, look what happens. We were already in a, a market slowdown for all the stuff that was happening in game. Look what happened to this card today. 180 down to 150. He's back up 10K. Uh, but that's what happened to a lot of these cards today. I'm sure DeYoung's, DeYoung has an inform that's in packs right now. I'm just very skeptical about, or I'm skeptical about these cards rising out of packs a ton. If you want to have some fun, do a pack or so. Do it. I mean, you have a chance of getting a, a decent amount of players. Wambasaka, Pepe, Ben Yedder, um, maybe Delict, the young Hazard, Griezmann, Coutinho. There's like eight guys out of this team that you might be really happy with, like a top tier, more of a top tier player. Um, so that that's not the best odds, but you know, maybe try one or two. Just just test your luck. But I don't think that I would really invest in these cards because again, you're really just hoping that they have a really good performance that enables them to get an upgrade. And that's when you'll see uh, these cards prices rise again. That's really, it's really all that you'll see with these, to be honest. But again, once to watch us today, they were all over the place. And again, Road to the Finals is like the biggest thing. And that's why I wanted to talk about, talk about this with you guys in the video today, is that Road to the Final is literally the biggest thing that we're gonna have today on this game. If you guys forgot how awesome it was to trade with these cards, it's gonna be crazy, right? Let's say, Again, it just all depends on the goals, depends on the game situation, and also uh, on like 
how the game is going live in game. It could be a crazy, crazy game. Sancho could start the game at 180,000 coins. He could go up to 250 and then he could go all the way down to 120 K if they end up losing. We could see crazy, crazy market movements of up fluctuations over double a card's value and then the card cutting in half very easily today based on what some of these cards could do. Let's say Liverpool go out and they smack Atletico Madrid, right? It's like a 4-0 game. You're like, wow, Atletico Madrid is not going to come back from this, right? This party card is probably going to drop and it's going to stay low and not rise back up into the second leg that much just because people don't think it's going to get in, uh, upgraded at all. So there's going to be a lot to talk about with these cards, but I wanted to get you ready for this stuff today. Road to the final upgrades, ones to watch cards. Of course, Prime Icon moments are out on the market. They're very, very fun to trade with, very risky to trade with uh, because they're such a high level and a high card price. That was actually a, a decent price right there on that on that uh, Stoikov. But Prime Icon moments are out as well. If you're messing around with these, GG's. Uh, they're risky, they're fun, but uh, we're at the point of the game where I, th I feel like we're still on the downward trend because we, we could have some big SBCs coming this week. I wonder if this wants to watch SBC is kind of a way of rinsing our clubs from some of these cards, EA is trying to rinse our club with some of these. They put out the 83 plus, then they require 83s in these SBCs. That Neymar player of the month that is coming could have a big impact on this market. If the mid icon SBC ever does come as well, that could have a massive impact on this market too. So again, focus of today's video, road to the final cards, looking back at last year a little bit, uh, talking about those crazy movements again with these today, be ready to watch them. If you're going to be able to watch, sit down and watch the game. Definitely, definitely look at those. Very last point, very last point today on the video. I mentioned this in a video um, earlier than this as well. These cards right here, for the guys that play tomorrow, um, not maybe not so much Mbappe, but there are people in this game that think these are live items, okay? Do we have anybody in here that plays today? Um... We don't? It was Sun. Sun is like the only... Okay, Sun and Salah and Mbappe are the only ones that play on Tuesday. Sun does not play Tuesday. Sun plays Wednesday. But, M but Mbappe and Salah. Watch these cards. That's not the right squad. This is the right squad. Watch these cards uh, today because people think these are live items, right? Salah's 344,000 coins at the moment. If uh, Liverpool win... You seriously might th might see this card go to 400k because it's a very rare card. He could very easily fluctuate up there. You can see that he reaches low points of like 340 and gets high points of like 360. So I'm going to keep an eye on this card right now. And if I see him get down to anywhere near the lower 300,000 coin range, these guys probably will rise after the game if they do win. And you might see if, if somehow Liverpool lose uh, or if Mbappe and um, PSG lose, you might see these guys go down in price because people do think that the team of the group stage cards are live items. They're not, but some people think that they are. So watch out for those today. A lot of market movements should be a great one. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.